All right, this video is for programming challenge 8-11, and that is soccer team score application. This is for Introduction to Visual Basic for Shasta College by Anthony Gaddis and Kip Irvine, Shasta College, Fall 2020. So it says, design your own form, soccer team app score application. Suppose the soccer team needs an application to record the number of points scored by its players during a game. Create an application that asks how, how many players the team has, then asks for the number of players, uh, number for the names of each player. The program should declare an array of strings large enough to hold the players' names and declare an array of integers large enough to hold the number of points scored by each player. <laughs> The application should have a menu system or buttons that perform the following. Display the form, allowing the user to enter the player's names. Display a form that, that can be used during the game to record the points scored by each player. And display the total points scored by each player, uh, by each player and by the team. Input validation, do not accept negative numbers. So anyway, this is what I did in Visual Basic. So I started out with Form 1, which I called Soccer Team Scores. I put a menu as an exit button. Add, it adds the players and it resets the form. And then I got the a Help button too. It tells you how to use the form. So let's run and see how it works really quick. So it starts off in the center of the screen. Got an exit button. You add players. So there's only the, the soccer team can only hold 15 players. So this the input box here, the validation is for players uh, uh, less than fi uh, 15 or less. So we'll we'll enter three players just for now. We'll proceed to the next. Jack, Ace, that's our second form, so three, if we want to view points, please add the player to pick from the list first, so we hit Jack, so it starts off with zero points, and if we want to add a point, it adds a point here, adds a point to that, Adds a point to that, adds a point to that. And if we want to say we want to switch to a different player and it has zero points and we want to add a point, and if we want to go to here, zero, if we want to go back to Jack, we view points. So that works fine. We add points, we add there, back to view. So anyway, that's how it works. And then we got to help. Uh, screen over here to add players click add menu to the top toolbar to view points click on the player then click view points to add points click on the player then click add points and we have a reset button resets the screen and we have an exit button and exits out of the application so we'll look take a look and see how this is programmed so on the form load event, we center the form to the screen. And then on the view points. So this is this makes sure you select a player. So if it's equal to zero or negative one, if you don't, so if it's the first one or if it's not a player selected, then Please add a player to the list or pick one from the list. Or then you just display the name in the total or in the names label. Scored by whatever the player you entered. In the text box, scores that are entered in there change. And that's it for that one. 
And then to add a point, you need an integer. Make sure that none are not selected. Then you got to calculate the totals plus equals one. So you add one to the total of the goals. Display the player's name. And that's it for that. That's those two buttons. And then the reset. So if we go here and to reset the form, you go to the players and you clear the form, go to the text boxes and clear them, both of them. And you go to your label and you clear that and to say point scored. So the help button, that's on your, your uh, menu strip too. It's a new form called Help Me. So you show the dialogue of Help Me. And that's declared. Oh, this also I use the global variable to hold global variables. That closes the form here. And then on this, the show to add players, hide the current form in the add players as new players and then show the new players form the these i was going to use something else with these i didn't need to then the, so they're just sitting there so anyway the global modules is the other thing and for global variables we have number of players as integer let's hold the integers the index is integer number of goals is integer Number of points as integer, and we got strings to hold players' names and arrays. Got two arrays here for names and the number of goals, and then the form variables add players as new players. These these are actually the names of the forms. Main form, and then the help me. That's where we saw help me. So anyway, let's run it one more time just to see how it works again. Add players. You gotta type in the number of players. Here you can add up to the number 15 here. We have three. We proceed. So starts off with zero points and we want to add a point we go add point it adds a point over here and we add another point it adds a point here zero points to add a point there got four points there and Jack doesn't have any and we add a point here for Jack if we want to view aces points again he's got two he's scored another score and if we want to go back to Jack and see what his points are, he has two, and Lee has four. So anyway, if you need help on how to use it, that's your help form. Close that out. And then you can reset this form, and you can exit. So anyway, that's Programming Challenge 8-11 for Introduction to Visual Basic for Shasta College. Anthony Gaddis and Kip Irvine. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> All right. Bye.